Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, Orion has lifted off, folks, a few minutes ago. Matter of fact, this is how it was, how it sound. But what I'm shocked at is their first response by uh, those reporting from NASA that literally blows my mind. What is the mission of Orion? Four, three, two, one. of American space exploration. Moments like these were moments that uh, my dad absolutely loved. I grew up watching the Apollo missions with all of them. And oh my God, it was unbelievable. And that was the Orion spacecraft blasting off minutes ago from Cape Canaveral. Let's bring in our good friend NBC's Jay Barbary. He watched the launch. Uh, Jay, how did it go? Perfect this morning, Joe. It couldn't have gone better. In fact, they're in the first of two orbits right now. In the next four hours, they'll be laying the first brick on the road to Mars. Now, what's really significant about this, if they can bring the spacecraft back to the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour in about four hours, and it withstands all of this, it'll be ready to head into space, make its first trip around the moon in 2018. So. What this all means is very simply, this is the project for the survival of the human race, the human species. Uh, generations of the future will have to be colonizing Mars, colonizing the moon, and other places in the solar system if this species is going to survive, because Earth will not support us forever. The first uh, thing that could happen to get us off earlier is a sort of disease, or uh, Ebola comes to mind, that we would have to depart Earth in order to survive. Even if we get to stay here, as long as scientists say we may be able to stay here, before we go Nova again with the Earth and the, the sun dies, our only star dies, then, uh, you know, everything will be set in place for our survival, Joe. Did you hear, that is the opening response by Jay Barber, the MBC, the MSNBC, NASA um, <laughs> represent reporting out of NASA that the mission of the entire mission is to save the human race, to build a colony on Mars and on the moon because the Earth is not going to survive according to NASA. This is mankind's greatest hope is the Orion, a mythical name given to the star constellation. Orion is going to save us instead of Jesus is coming to save us, to redeem us. Uh, are you serious? Uh, I, mean, I, I'm, I saw this this morning. I was drinking my first cup of coffee or maybe my second cup. When I heard this was the comment, uh, matter of fact, I had to take a double take, a triple take. I'm stunned over what I heard, and I want you to hear it. I want you to hear what he said again. I mean, it's mind-boggling to me. It literally is. Morning, Joe. It couldn't have gone better. In fact, they're in the first of two orbits right now. In the next four hours, they'll be laying the first brick on the road to Mars. Now, what's really significant about this, if they can bring the spacecraft back to the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour in about four hours, and it withstands all of this, it'll be ready to head into space, make its first trip around the moon in 2018. So... What this all means is very simply, this is the project for the survival of the human race, the human species. Uh, generations of the future will have to be colonizing Mars, colonizing the moon, and other places in the solar system if this species is going to survive, because Earth will not support us forever. The first uh, thing that could happen to get us off earlier is a sort of disease, or uh, Ebola comes to mind, that we would have to depart Earth in order to survive. Even if we get to stay here, as long as scientists say we may be able to stay here, before we go Nova again with the Earth and the, the sun dies, our only star dies, then, uh, you know, everything will be set in place for our survival, Joe.
All right. I, yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just can't believe he can, said that. They couldn't have gone better. In fact, Are they're in the serious? first of two orbits right now. In the next four hours, they'll be laying the first brick on the road to Mars. Now, what's really significant about this, if they can bring the spacecraft back to the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour in about four hours, and it withstands all of this, it'll be ready to head into space, make its first trip around the moon in 2018. So what this all means is very simply, this is the project for the survival of the human race, the human species. Uh, generations of the future will have to be colonizing Mars, colonizing the moon, and other places in the solar system. If So, they, so if this spaceship, Orion, makes it back down here without blowing up, it'll be ready to be sent back into space for its first trip around the moon <coughs> in 2018. It's going to go to Mars, and it's the building block. They believe they're going to build a colony on Mars and a colony on the moon and elsewhere in space to ensure the survival of the species mankind. Do you think everybody's going? No. So this is part of this selective um, you know, profiling on who they believe they got to. This is part of the new world order to select a very, very small hand-picked group that will be the first to be colonized on Mars and on the moon. Because they believe it's the only hope for mankind. Obviously, NASA does not believe that Jesus Christ is coming back. They don't believe that, you know, that our only hope is through Christ. So guess what, folks? All of your money, your tax dollars, is the driving force is not to help make this a better world, not to make this more free, the, all of the cash that's coming into the federal government, not just America, but the governments of the world, is to is the driving force, is survival through colonization in space. Orion is your savior, according to NASA. I will play this one more time, and then I'm getting out of the way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. In fact, they're in the first of two orbits right now. In the next four hours, they'll be laying the first brick on the road to Mars. Now, what's really significant about this, if they can bring the spacecraft back to the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour in about four hours, and it withstands all of this, it'll be ready to head into space, make its first trip around the moon in 2018. So what this all means is very simply, this is the project for the survival of the human race, the human species. Uh, generations of the future will have to be colonizing Mars, colonizing the moon, and other places in the solar system if this species is going to survive, because Earth will not support us forever. The first uh, thing that could happen to get us off earlier is a sort of disease, or uh, Ebola comes to mind, that we would have to depart Earth in order to survive. Even if we get to stay here, as long as scientists say we may be able to stay here, before we go Nova again with the Earth and the, the sun dies, our only star dies, then, uh, you know, everything will be set in place for our survival, Joe. All right, so it's up to NASA how long we get to stay on Earth. It's up to NASA how long we're going to survive. If things like Ebola, okay, so so to some of you think maybe Ebola was manufactured by the New World Order, being tested in West Africa just to see how effective it can be. Uh, if you've read the George, Georgia Guidestones, they already said you can't have this many people on this planet. We can't make it. We need to cut it down to 500 million. If you believe that Agenda 21 is part of the New World Order, if you believe in Revelation 13 that the beast, the seven-headed ugly beast that's rising, is to give an allegiance to the image of the beast, to the number of his name, to the Antichrist and the false prophet, and already we're hearing the false prophecies out of science, out of NASA, that the only hope for humanity is Orion, 
Is NASA, NASA's going to save us, Orion? Orion is in the Bible, by the way. Even though it is a Greek mythical name for the constellations in the sky, it was mentioned by the prophet Amos. He, Job also talked about it, but Amos said these words in Amos chapter 5, verse 8. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. Who is this person I should seek? The Lord is his name. Not NASA. The Lord. The Lord will decide whether or not this, the daylight turns dark. Whether the sea and the waters flow. Whether the earth survives the shadow of death or its destruction. It's not NASA. But the Lord is his name. Again, you're going to have to choose which road you want to go down. You want to go down the atheistic, secular, humanistic, new world order path, or are you going to follow the path of Christ? You will make a decision, and it's going to get ugly before it gets better. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.